Hey, what's going on? I tried to get this video out yesterday, but it's it's difficult to edit a 70 minute conversation down and get rid of all the redundant things that I talk about and you know add my text. So uh, this is a, a session I had, a Skype session I had with him in the UK. And I, I think there's some pretty important things that a lot of people are feeling just about feeling kind of lost and like feeling like not even being able to determine what their passions are. Um, I, I think you might enjoy this. We did have this one part where uh, like last night I almost got it out because we, we ended up talking a little bit about marijuana and I just thought it was interesting what was going on with her but yet her resistance to it. So I, 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 you know, I was trying to edit that, make it, you know, make sense. And then right when I was done, I, I, I actually went back through her email and she says, please cut out all of the marijuana stuff. And I was like, okay, I'm done. I can't get this out. And then later on, she's like, you know what? Just leave it. Cause and I, I'm glad because I think it's important. Um, so here, here's the video, you know, there's, there's a little bit of cussing in it. And, you know, I was going to say, so, you know, if you're not into like, you know, hearing a couple of swear words, then, you know, maybe you should watch the next one. But then I'm thinking, dude, you're like this magnificent being of consciousness. You're like a small G God. How can you let a word offend you? How can you hear like a four letter, one syllable word and actually let it affect your being in a negative way? Um, I think we should probably move past that. Um, we're, we're stronger in that. You shouldn't let a little word affect you um, to where an emotion comes like, oh my God, I can't believe you said fuck. So, uh, <laughs> okay, so here's a video. And uh, I hope you guys dig it. I'm not making a video this weekend. Um, I got some sessions. I'm going to go play golf. And I'm going to go hang out with my friends for a Canadian Thanksgiving. So I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And I will see you next week. Here's a video. Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with the splash gun so I cool down. Won't you come on over? So how are you, sir? Are you okay? I'm, I'm doing great. Yeah, I just got done with the session, one of my little upgrade sessions. And mm. uh, I always feel amazing <laughs> after I do those. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you look really happy. That's lovely. I Yeah, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. How did you find out about me and what I do? Well... It actually, again, something a weird synchronicity occurred to me today um, that about a few years ago, I started watching your videos. I think I just found them on YouTube. And I think because because the initials of your channel popped up somewhere and it was my name, like M just oh, popped up. Okay. Okay. I was like, OK, that's probably for me. I'll, I'll have a look at it uh -huh. um, years ago. And I remembered today that you said something a few years ago that I, I've been thinking about like ever since and I didn't I had no idea that I was attributing that to you in my head but I was and it was um I think you were like by a pool or something in your video it was quite a, probably an old video a couple of years old and you said something about some people don't really want to they don't really want like a normal job they just want to kind of live secluded somewhere on their own and that's totally. fine yeah and I yeah. was like almost like your video kind of gave me permission to feel like it was okay to believe that yeah. you know yes. so I like, and I've fucking held on to that ever since dude I've you know I did want to stop and say one thing right here um as I was editing this video I had some time to kill so I was like I went to Facebook I hate Facebook I don't know why I go to Facebook you know why I go to Facebook because we don't have a defense for the social media crap that's going on I'm not sure if you guys have watched the video Social Dilemma on Netflix. It's a must watch. You have to watch it because it really shows how we don't have a defense. Our only defense is to 
get rid of it, to, to not look at it. I, I saw this post on, on Dolores Cannon's page and I just thought it was so appropriate because a lot of people feel this way and I think it just sums it up. A lot of the time, those of us who don't fit in and never really have, have a much bigger purpose here on earth. Those of us who were made fun of for being different, we are the ones here to create a new world. The outcasts are the trendsetters, the ones who see the world differently, the ones who were never meant to follow the crowd. So if this happens to be you, do not worry or feel down on yourself. No one will ever be like you and you won't ever be like the majority. Being outcasted is a very good thing when you look at it this way. Back to the video. I, I think that there's like, can you feel these frequencies? I have been feeling a lot of stuff. Okay. But the frequencies, I'm like when I I've, I've done like healing on my mum and a couple couple of times, maybe twice, uh -huh. two times in my life, uh -huh. and obviously I can feel energy. Yeah. And I had a guy do some weird shit on me at like a mind, body, and spirit festival when I was about fifteen. Uh -huh. That I could feel. That was that was astonishing. Uh -huh. And and he he'd seen somebody like move someone across the room with it. And I was like, yeah, I believe you. Cause that was, yeah. like, as a 50 year old, I was quite impressed by that. Yeah. Nice. I mean, I'd still be impressed now. Like that was fucking amazing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I, I actually watched your sort of intro videos today, rewatched them, I should say. Uh -huh. And I had a go. Um, and I bought the, uh, the books that you recommended. I haven't had a chance to read them cause I just bought them today. The, um, I want to say Pearl. Oh yeah. 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 Yeah guy who first introduced it into your head yeah, basically so, absolutely, yeah yeah so i i got those today i haven't read them yet but um i had a go and i sort of started to feel there's de i could definitely feel something yeah but it, it yeah. wasn't particularly strong whereas you know other things i felt quite well, profoundly so i would just say that for me when i first felt them it was subtle you know i was like wait a second holy shit i think i can feel these and then it was almost like I had been given like this tool and I did it every day, all day, just because I think it's, I think, I think the reason I was so obsessed with them, it was kind of like the proof that I had always been looking for. You know what I mean? Like I knew we were connected. I knew we we're made of energy, but I didn't really have that proof in my life, you know? And, and even when I did see proof, of how we're connected and how we're creating our life. Um, I would always, I was always like, oh, well, that was interesting coincidence. Or, you know, I always wrote it off, you know what I mean? Um, you know, because we're trained to, we're, we're not trained to believe in this stuff in our, in our cultures, you know, in the mass yeah. level. And so it just, it was so on to me that I, I just did it all the time. But the more I did it, the stronger it got. And then the stronger I got. And then I started telling my friends, like, hey, dude, um, why don't you let me do this to you? And then it got stronger and stronger. So put it this way. If I would have felt it in the beginning, the way I feel it now, I would have gotten my ass in a car and drove to the hospital and said, dude, there's something wrong with me. Like, I think I'm dying. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, okay, well, I have done that. I've actually had a, a brain MRI because I was like, I can see auras. Like, oh wow. That, wow. That, that was just, that was something I mentioned in my appointment. I, I'll be clear, the appointment was for something else. But I did see in the, say in the appointment, look, I, am I like seeing, is this double vision? Is that what I'm seeing? Because it, to me, they look like kind of like a heat haze. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like little layers. But, and um, so you'll see that? Do I still? Um, weirdly, this is for, this is kind of why I'm talking to you now. I've been yeah. I've been seeing them all my life, but recently they're kind of faded. Like uh -huh. my ability has shifted, or I basically feel like something's massively shifted. Um, uh -huh. I think maybe like the the Earth's energies or something to do with you know the larger energies have definitely yeah. like feel like they're shifting at the moment. It's very weird. But I'm I'm doing what you were doing initially. I'm I'm looking for the proof you know the one that makes yeah, you go yeah. oh fuck okay okay everything i believe is real that's kind of what i'm looking for it's really real. yeah <laughs> <laughs> see i I, I totally believe you but for some reason i still want that like that big proof for some reason i i get you i get you and then 
And that's probably why I will do this for the rest of my life because it's almost like I need constant proof. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I'm I afraid I'm it. one of those people as well. Yeah. Like uh, how much I see. I've, I've seen some crazy shit. Like I experienced when me and my sisters were kids, we had some, I could only describe as paranormal events, like really weird shit like out of yeah. movie shit happened to us and ever since then I've been completely searching for more but my sisters are kind of they're they're interested in certain things but I think I've almost got to the point where I'm almost obsessive not obsessed but you know not in a negative way but I'm really yeah. like that's my life at the moment yeah. like ever since this thing kicked off and I haven't had to go to work that's yeah. been my jam is just looking for looking for a purpose in my life that aligns me with spirituality and magic in the way that you know fires me up that's that's what i'm doing at the moment so there is a way to make a living in this world doing what you love to do there i just need to figure out what i love to do and i'll be there because i'm i know that sounds really um really weird but i still have no fucking clue what i, what I want to do yeah it's well, I, like I have I to invent I, a job I, or something you know, i was 45 <laughs> so you know like um Sometimes people feel like, okay, I can feel this. Like this is, you know, I'm supposed to do this. And then they think that they're supposed to become a healer. And my point is, no, <laughs> you are a healer. You're, whatever you do in your life, you're spreading this, this new awakening. You're, you're, you're doing your job. You can do just as much healing working at a coffee shop as you can, and sometimes you can make more money. <laughs> because <laughs> I can tell you, when I when I first discovered this, um, I for probably the first four years I couldn't make enough money to survive in a third world country. You know what I mean? Like, like I had to do other things. You know, I, I had to do other things to make money, um, and it was very frustrating. It, it was very very frustrating. No matter what I did to try to, cause you know, I had these just, it's like you said, you know, you've seen just absolutely out of this world things happening. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was seeing. I was seeing things that didn't like, they were irrational. Like there's no possible way this can happen. And yet it's happening. And I kept telling people, I go, dude, you know, you, you gotta pay, like, listen to this. This is real and nobody cared. And, and I remember I'd go on Facebook and I would like write these really long, like, posts about things that were going on and these revelations I was having and nobody gave a shit man like I get like two thumbs up like oh yeah you know, nice <laughs> and I was like what is going on like this is this is so big this is changing the world like like something major is happening on this planet and nobody cared and it was very frustrating it was um yeah it was and it was only when I started making videos that I realized, wait a second, there are people that care. There are people that are looking for this information. Mm. Uh, so, so, so what's your goal with this session today? Well, um, I'm 37, so I'm not, how long have I got? About like five years <laughs> or so until I get to where you <laughs> started to figure stuff out. Um, my goal, honestly, is I don't have many expectations because I Perfect. when I booked the session I kind of thought I was getting um what I see in your videos which is like the, the reconnection to, to self healing is that what mm -hmm. that is yeah um and then I realized I probably wasn't getting that because obviously we're doing it over the phone so it's not necessarily going to be is it the same process well, or you know what there's two there's two things there's two processes there's like a healing session or attunement session and then there's the personal reconnection now they are different, um, but they definitely overlap. You know what right. I mean? Like, so it's not like, oh, this is just for this. And, you know, it, it's, it's basically the same frequencies, but in the personal reconnection, it's, it's, they're focused. I would, cons I would say, even though I kind of started like waking up a little, I, I started realizing there was much more going on, like when I was around 25. Yeah. 
I still was like, whatever. I was just dabbling in it. And then it kind of increased a little bit in like 2007. Mm -hmm. And then I became a little bit more focused. I was like, wait a second. There is more going on here. And then I started like, you know, being drawn to new information that was expanding that. Um, but then it really happened for me, like in 2011, 2012, that's when something clicked and I just started owning it and I just started living it. And, and once I started doing that, I couldn't even remember n my life before. Mm. Like I, I couldn't. So all this time you're going, so I guess what I'm saying is time is an illusion because yeah. when you reach where you want to be, you don't even remember not being there. You know what I mean? No, that's what. Yeah, I, I, I get. I'm getting a sense of that. I think. Um, I didn't realize like the dark night of the soul was like a a thing, like a yeah. a period that people. Go, I just thought it was a, a phrase, but then yeah. I I recently looked it up because I was feeling. I felt like I was dying. Like I've yeah. been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, feel, I feel like I have. I feel like this is not me. I yeah. have no idea who I am. Yeah. And. I just became really sort of I've got a bit of a sense of like depersonalization like nothing yeah. is real I know yeah. I'm not real like I'm yeah. just kind of what what the fuck are you supposed to do once you know yeah. that though like I can't go back to my job like this, yeah. that's just fucking weird like what am I supposed to do Dude, the dark night of a soul is mm. like the greatest thing that can happen it really is it's like <laughs> final shedding you know yeah if you're reaching the dark night of the soul, dude, you are right on time. Because, cool. Okay. <laughs> and that process is so close to awaken to 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 knowing who you are. You know what I mean? Like that's like the final step. It's like the final resistance. The final. It's the final little veil where you when you pop through that. And trust me, when you pop through it, you don't even care. You like don't even. You <laughs> don't even care. It's like whatever. Um, this is the one thing I've wanted all my life, and I don't give a shit. It's fucking. I've already had it. I've had it. The, is, is it like you suddenly realize you've had it the whole time, but you just kind exactly, of twig what it? Exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay. So personally, for me, mm. when I first felt these frequencies, the first thing that happened, the first thing, well, there was a couple things I thought of. First was, I've been waiting my whole life for this, and the second was, how come it took me so long? to find this it happened exactly when it was meant to i would imagine exactly yeah and then for like a couple years or maybe three years it was like so awing and i was like oh my god why did it take so long why did it take so long I'm like, this is like i can't even believe like my new life this is a new life but after i did it for a while you know three four years whatever i don't even remember then when i look back i was like Oh shit, I've been doing this my whole life and I just didn't know it. You know, <laughs> I, I, I didn't, I wasn't conscious of how I was affecting other people. I wasn't conscious of how those interactions with people were rippling out and, and changing. I mean, it's funner to be conscious of it. You know what I mean? Like, like it is. I bet, yeah. To be conscious of it. But um, I guess what I'm saying is, I don't think I'm not sure that I'm doing any more good on the planet now that I'm conscious of it as when I was unconscious. Oh, wow. That's yeah. fascinating. Yeah, like, that's that sounds that makes sense to me. If, yeah, if this is what we are, that makes yeah. perfect sense. It's almost like you just being on the planet is all you can really do for the planet. But when you wake up, you start seeing actually what you're doing. On the planet you know what I mean so yeah so you can be an old soul and you can be a master and you can be totally ignorant your whole life and never know shit and never do anything oh. and you still did your thing you still changed the world and you know and that's what we're doing right now is we're we're changing the world and um I know it doesn't look like it <laughs> but we, oh no I I really believe it. I think I think yeah. um, way more people are sort of suddenly waking up and and my husband said it's just because just because the internet exists. That's why I'm noticing this. But I feel yeah. like yeah. I feel like th like 
swathes of people are just waking up suddenly like this yeah. year and they're going what the fuck what the fuck is the government what what is happening what like what I, I feel like we're ready to create the fucking utopia on earth like we're ready dude we can do it but we need we need to pull together and that's going to be it's going to take some time see the thing the way i look at it is the solutions to all of our problems already exist mm -hmm. so we're just kind of waiting for this dead system to implode mm -hmm. but as soon as it implodes it's not going to be like oh complete chaos It'll be like, no, we know what to do. Yeah. Here's, and we just implant them. It's almost like Lego blocks. We're waiting for this Lego to finally realize it's time's up. And then we're just going to replace it with the new Lego <laughs> and move on. So I've got, I, can I be honest with you completely? Tell you some. God, I hope so. Why would you change. not? <laughs> You're well, kind of, I was kind of asking your permission to be kind of, you know, weird. Um. <laughs> I started smoking weed this year. I never, never smoked it before in my life. Like I'm 37. Why did I start doing that? I don't know. But I did. And I've experienced some, what I would call like profound spiritual breakthroughs. I channeled some like really huge concepts. I was shown so many like, unbelievable things. And I don't I don't want to smoke weed anymore like I want to feel those things when I'm perfectly sober and I want to experience those concepts when I'm sober and I know I can yeah and I know it's there's like a blockage in my head that's like no you have to you have to you have to smoke weed first before you're allowed to see that and I I don't believe that I need to I want to experience that stuff when I'm perfectly sober and I want to be sober yeah. for the rest of my friggin life man like not that it's become like a problem like yeah. I but it's just become something that I'm, I enjoy I'm it. Sure. I mean, if you wake up and you're like taking bong hits, then that's, you know, that that oh. might impede your yeah. activity. But this I, is like one evening before bed, before I sort of meditate and do my, yeah. you know, internal philosophizing or whatever. This is just one a day, but it's still enough for me to go. I don't want to have to use that to experience all these wonderful things, you know, and I know I don't have to. So I'm hoping we can sort of, facilitate a situation whereby shit starts happening man <laughs> you know exciting yeah. stuff well do you um so i mean i have some really interesting or not interesting i just have my i have very specific beliefs about marijuana mm -hmm. and i mean i personally think that it's one of the greatest medicines on the planet um absolutely 100 percent when I smoke marijuana, that's exactly what happens to me. I do absolutely. Like I, like I don't drink. I mean, I drink a little bit, but you know. Yeah, like once not, in a couple of months. Like. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's it's not. But when I smoke marijuana, my brain, and it's just it's just you know this is personal. My brain goes to this perfect state where I can make connections, just like you're talking about. I can see a bigger picture. Yes. And um, and I understand that you want to be able to do that, you know, without marijuana. Yeah, I want to feel like it's me and not the drug, you know. Well, it is you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> yeah, it, it, really, you know, it, it's not. You don't. You don't want it to be a crutch, is what you're saying. You, exactly. Yes, yeah. That's you. The you. Way. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, if you're talking about crutches, it's not that bad of a crutch. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't beat yourself up. I've heard that the frequency of marijuana is literally like, like right, right by the frequency that we actually manifest our world in. Okay. Wow. I, I just said, I've never heard that. That's amazing. So I always thought that like marijuana is really like a tool. And so, you know, you see, you hear stories and they even have like, you know, I'm, I'm sure if you have any pothead friends, man, you've made these references where, you know, people that smoke marijuana, they have these ideas. Oh, I got an idea. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I got this idea. When, whenever I smoke marijuana and I get these ideas, I know that I have to act on them right then. Mm -hmm. I 
have to, I have to be productive. I have to, because if you don't, mm -hmm. then you're unproductive and, and you fall into that cycle of just like smoking weed and not doing anything. I don't know. I, I think you're accessing, it's just like you said, you're accessing a different level of looking at the world and you mm -hmm. can make connections that you usually can't make when you're not there because it kind of goes back to what you're talking about like you like to be alone like you know what I mean like like you don't want to work in a place you want to have your own job yeah. and it's really because you you don't want that constant bombardment of this mass consciousness exactly on, yeah we know that we need to separate we need to pull back mm. from that because only when we pull back from the mass consciousness, only when we go into our little bubble world, are we able to like make sense of what's going on and have these enlightened thoughts. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I mean, if you, if you have a job where you're, you know, around people and you're in around this low frequency stuff and, you know, you go home and you need marijuana as a tool to, shut that down and to access this this broader perspective i don't know i don't really see a problem with it i don't uh, i i get what you mean it's a tool that we sh we don't need and we yeah. and once we've reached that frequency that marijuana is on then we should be able to access it again and access it again and mm. so yeah i've tried yeah. <laughs> i'm trying yeah. man but um, i i have to have to tell you this as well i actually um I haven't I have I've been signed off work for since about January uh -huh. okay cause, um I was diagnosed with ME um I don't know if you know what that is I think you guys call it chronic fatigue syndrome uh-huh so I was diagnosed with that about 10 years ago when I met my husband I was quite quite ill and I was drinking a lot of alcohol and I was kind of trying to escape because I generally felt shit in my body but I also knew that this wasn't all there was and I really wanted to find more and a couple of years later, after being diagnosed, I realized that I'd manifested this illness myself. Of course. That I'd, that I'd created it. And I'd done it as a way to get out of work because I've hated work so much. I hated yeah. being around. Isn't it so obvious? <laughs> yeah. You, I mean, it's like, oh, yeah. I yeah. hated this. I believe that if you've learned that lesson, mm -hmm. then it should just slowly dissolve. Yeah, this year I've since I've been signed off work again this year because I managed to, you know, I was going back to work for like 20 hours a week or something. Uh -huh. But then in January this year, it just got too much for me. And I was like, I'm not doing it anymore. So um, during this year, I've lost over three and a half stone. I've become vegan. I quit smoking tobacco. Yeah, um, I've done all of that. I don't know what that is in your you guys. That's like 50, 60 pounds. It's a lot. So I've, I've wow. still. Wow. Like got some way to go, but I I'd never been able to to do that before, and it was all because I was talking to my to you. I'm sorry, like yes. so I'm kind of I feel like I'm like on the right track. I just dude, you're not you're on the exact track. You are <laughs> like so I'm pretty much oh. cured. Like I'm seriously, I feel. I can exercise now. I can walk. I can. I'm fucking cured, man. You said, you know, I lost three stones. You know, I still have a little bit to go. I, I don't even know if we should say that. I'm not even thinking about it right now. I'm, I've been, I've been stable like at this weight for like six, like six, five, six months. I, I don't care about that anymore. Yeah, good. So good. I understand more now that yeah. I don't really. It's not that I don't like my body. It's just I I know it's not me. Yeah. It's a nice vehicle, you know. I I want to look after it, but I don't care if it's like a bit chubby, like you know. Yeah. yeah. But I am recording this, by the way, so I can send you the recording if you like. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I I I, I don't. I mean, if if only send it if I'm allowed to post some of it because I just yeah. think that last little part, like really, it was this perfect example of how we bring certain challenges into our life and it's your higher yeah. self hey man this is not good for you mm. and when we realize that i just think that people would really benefit from this
I that would be if people did. I, that would be like amazing. I would be they delighted. Would. To share. <laughs> they absolutely oh. would. There's no question about it. Okay. Well then. Yeah. I will definitely send this to you if I can figure out how to do so. And, and uh, you can, yeah, share whatever you like. If if you do do that, I'm going to have to ask you to do a shout out to my mum, Kathy, and my husband, Pip, because they love you very much, too. Well, you just did it. So did, but not from you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perfect. If you could, yeah, have a nice thought about them later, too, because oh, they're, pretty, uh, they're pretty, they're pretty envious. I just. I realized, like, why the fuck haven't I made an appointment with Case yet? Like, I've been following you for years, and I was like, I looked at my bank account, and I had, I had about a hundred pounds left, and I was like, that's, I'm, you know, I'm gonna have to quit my job soon. Like, this is, this is probably the last money we're gonna have for yeah. a while. And I was like, this is a really good investment to use yeah. for the last of my money. I'm gonna do it. Why not? And the universe was like, it's only money. I don't care. It's just money is just an energy, like. But- no, it's, it's, I really, I swear to God, I believe this, man. I believe that, like, we buy so much stupid shit. Yeah. Like, we, it's like, oh, my God. Like, I really believe that we're, and you're, like, you're investing in yourself. And I'm not talking about through me. I'm talking about, like, the your higher self. Like, like I've had conversations with people, and they think that what I do is a joke, and they think that it's just ridiculous. And then as I'm looking at them, you know, they have like brand new manicures, <laughs> brand new hair dye, brand new bullshit. And it's just like, I, I don't know. I just. It confuses me when I see spiritual people like that. I'm like, well, yeah, I, I get it. Like, it's OK. It's OK to care about your appearance and stuff yeah. like that. But uh-huh. There's far more like exciting things to give a shit about like there's everything else which is like and the rest of you the rest of you that you don't see externally that's that's really int- fascinating to me yeah. i would love to meet myself like i know we probably will meet ourselves when we die that's yeah. i'm totally looking forward to that yeah, yeah. Hell, i'm so <laughs> looking forward to how how can you i couldn't have this conversation with anyone else case i could not say to another human being I'm really excited about dying. Like, yeah. I cannot fucking wait. I'm not going to kill myself. Like, because I know, I partly know what's going to happen. Because I've, you know, I've seen it. I've experienced it. And it is, that shit is going to be jamming. <laughs> it's going to be good. I kind of think it's almost like we'll get this feeling like, it's like wearing a shoe that's like three sizes too small. And you finally get to take it off. And you're like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow that was crazy <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah like so, taking off the vr goggles and you're like oh fuck oh yeah. oh my god i'm home yes that, exactly exactly because in my opinion we're really in spirit and this is a dream like we're, we're dreaming this and it's I've an amazing dream, dream. This, definitely yeah i think the, i think the most beautiful thing about this time right now is now we're actually waking up in the dream. And, yeah. when you, and when you wake up in the dream, then you're like, oh shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes, lucid powers, yeah. come on. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing. I was, like my whole life, I've had incredible lucid dreams, but I've been a really light sleeper. Uh-huh. And when I got this illness, I was like, struggling to to sleep properly and get any rest Mm -hmm. but recently since I've sort of got rid of the the illness my dreams haven't been as strong but the weed has brought them back a bit and I'm 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 not going to smoke weed anymore all you keep saying are these positive things about marijuana (laughs) I I don't get it the the only I have like one at one a day. Like I'll have one at night before bed. But the only yeah. um the only reason I don't want to do it is because I'm almost like jealous of it. Like I want I just want to experience that for myself sober. I don't know what the difference is, but I, I maybe feel like it's not quite real enough for me. That sounds fucking stupid, but I don't know, man. I I, I would say that you're you're your resistance and your 
kind your your negativity towards it is really just part of your software like, like maybe you were told when you were young that it's just like a terrible drug and then it's addictive or like i don't know um i'm being told that now by like spiritual teachers a lot of them that i speak to are like don't do that and if you're going to do yeah. that make sure you use proper protection oh, and i've sh- never i've never done any protection work because protection i'm so sick of those spiritual teachers always talking about stuff like that that's I what i feel i feel like we're, if we're the only being that exists right if you and i and everyone else is only one being who the, who do we need protection from ourselves yeah. like it doesn't I, make any sense i don't know i'm just i'm just not into i, I think that's the old energy i think that's the old way of thinking I feel like I'm standing in the light. And when you're standing in the light, darkness gets the hell away from you. So I don't feel like I need to be protected from anything. I, I don't. And I, I guarantee you, if we, if I ever post this or people are like, oh, my God, he's old. I don't know. I just don't feel any need to protect myself. Yes, there are low frequency entities It, it lets me know how small my role is. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm like the spiritual cable guy. I go in, I repair your little connection, <laughs> and then you don't need me anymore. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You know you're very important. You know that, right? You know you're very appreciated. I don't think about it that way. I, I don't. I, 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 I just don't. I just, when anybody gives me compliments, I'm just like, yeah, whatever. That's cool. Um, I, I, like, I, you know, I, 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 you know what it's probably is? I'm probably afraid that if I started buying into what other people believe, that my ego might get involved and I would be able to be less of the authentic me. And so, wow, that must be true because I'm about ready to cry right now. So <laughs> that, 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 that must be <laughs> exactly <laughs> why okay. I do that. <laughs> so, uh, Okay. So. Well, I'm I'm very very grateful that you told me that. That's very sweet. And I I hope I hope nobody makes your ego come out cuz that would suck balls. I'm, I hope that never happens. I don't know why they treat me like dirt. So, I'm 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 or not treat me like dirt. No, I not treat me like dirt, but like I'm like whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like oh god, that <laughs> So, so they they will not let me let my ego get involved because my wife I can, tell my wife, I, I can tell my wife like you wouldn't believe this session you wouldn't believe what just happened like this happened and that happened she's like oh cool can you go to the store and get some um so, <laughs> yeah. so it's, that must uh, be so confusing like having people tell you how great you're all day and your wife's like you're just you i don't i've yeah, exactly. married you yeah, it's, it's like it's, it's a it's a balance that I've learned to love. Oh, yeah. that sounds really nice. And I will find a way of downloading and sending you this recording so you okay. can cool. Sort of cool. do what you want with it. And obviously, I might I guess I might get in touch with you like tomorrow or something to tell you okay. if I have anything to tell you, I guess. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. To be honest with you, I think that the way the energy on the planet is and the way things are advancing, um, one day we won't need the personal connection one day we'll just we 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 just won't need it anymore 
Uh, I don't think we're there yet. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I think when my kids are my age, <clears throat> we won't need this. This oh, is like no. a tool we're using. Um, we'll all be dead by then, dude. Like, yeah. Be wiped out. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, that's optimistic. <awesome. laughs> I mean, you know, no offense I, to like everyone's kids, but like, yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, civilization will be very different by then, I think. It's going to get different quite quickly as well, I think. I think. Yeah, I, I think that uh, I think we'll have two, I, you know, I'm just throwing these numbers out. I'm thinking we'll have, probably have like six months to a year of complete chaos, two years of rebuilding and instilling all these new um, ways to live. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I, I think by like... Um, I think by 2030, man, we are we're living in a completely different society, completely different. I mean, I hope it's 2025. I hope, fuck, I hope it's 2021. But yeah. I've learned in my 54 years on this planet um, to not expect a big purple wave of energy to come and change everybody overnight. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think that there will be, it'll be a slower process, but it is happening. And I think we're just incredibly blessed to be a part of it. And um, so it's it's a win win. I think you I think you bang on the money there. I think everything you've just said pretty much sums up how I feel about things as well. And it's really nice to get to hear another human being say that because. I, I don't get to talk about this stuff to anyone but my husband because he's the only one who understands me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like. To hear you say that, it's like, this is all the shit that I, this is exactly how I feel. And it's just amazing. It's amazing I, to meet you and, and talk to you. And you know what I mean? Like, we can feel it. Like, the, those of us that are awakening um, and expanding our consciousness. I mean, awakening, I hate that. But it, I guess it's the most appropriate because you really are waking up to um, how we've been, you know, misled and how we've been lied to and how we've been controlled and manipulated. Mm. And but then there's the next level of awakening when you realize that we're all one and we're a part of God and mm. that we are gods and that we're really these magnificent beings playing this game. So that's the awakening that I like to talk about. <laughs> so I'm so sick of talking about how we've been lied to and shit. It's like, dude, that's baby steps. That's like baby old steps. news. And that's who that's that? Yeah. So. So cool. Glad, it was a pleasure talking to you and um, I hope you have an amazing session. Thank you. I'll... <laughs> it's so nice to meet you, Case. Thank you so nice much for your time you. and your um, your skills, your gifts. And uh, hopefully I can have another conversation with you in the future at some point. That'd be great. Okay. That Thank good. you, mate. I'll see you soon. Okay. Peace. Bye. So that's it. I'm surprised if anybody made it through that, but if you did, uh, she ended up sending me an email the next day talking about her session. And it's funny because I hear this all the time. Like as soon as she laid down, her eyes went ballistic. And that's so common. Probably like 85, 90% of the people do that. It's weird because sometimes the eyes will go dink, dink, dink. They're just like on this consistent basis all the way through. But sometimes, I am not kidding you, I've seen people's eyes flicker what looks like a hundred times a second. I mean, it looks like their eyes are ready to, their eyelashes are like a hummingbird <laughs> ready to fly away from their face. So she said that, you know, by the way, after I was laying down for this session for what only felt like seven minutes, the whole time her eyes were just going crazy. I heard your voice say quietly, hey man, it's done, it's done. Man. And I remember thinking, well, that's quite a clear signal. After a few groggy moments, I was able to sit up and I felt way out of my body in a way that felt like coming out of an hour long meditation session. That's pretty common too. Um, she, she looked at the clock to see how much time had elapsed and it had been 32 minutes. 30 minutes since she laid down. She was surprised at feeling the time had passed differently. Time is so slippery when you when during these sessions. 
I will eventually tell several stories how that just proves to me that the time is an illusion. Like it, it truly is. I know we're experiencing this, this experience in the 3D as a linear event, but uh, time doesn't exist. Okay, man. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Peace. Peace. It's just another Friday in paradise So bring your A-game Cause you know this party won't stop We could never run out of time Sipping strawberry lime You know I wanna share it with you